Hello and welcome to the Keyboard Road Warrior with me, Movie Scouse 007. Well, it's a bit of a momentous day. Um, finally, the uh, as I spoke in the last video, um, SCS have updated uh, the game um, completely to 1.9, and it did screw me up a little bit for the last journey. But Pro Mods have released their 1.6 update, which meant that I could install 1.9. Obviously that means I have been returned to Liverpool, um, because it, when you make major changes to the map, that's what happens. Um, the other the other pro thing of note, um, well, uh, two cities have been added by ProMods, Angers and Poitiers. They've also added a city in Scandinavia, I think it's Oda. I don't remember Oda. But it could be Gielo or it could be Kalmar. I can't remember off the top of my head. However, uh, there are also, there's also been some changes uh, to, I think, Rotterdam. I'm not sure. But the, big, uh, the saddest part of it is we've lost uh, Palmer and we've lost Torino. Uh, not Torino. Crikey, we, we've lost two cities in Italy, Parma and another one. Um, the 1.9 update uh, doesn't work with that. We were going to lose them anyway when Pro Mods started to venture in, um, and as much as we liked M95's little bit of map, uh, we visited it once and never went back. Um, so, uh, if we look at the map, um, there are still a couple of capitals that we want to cl claim. Uh, Budapest, we for some reason we I think they might have made changes to Budapest because it's now listed as unvisited. Uh, the same goes for Lotz. I'm pretty sure we've been to Lotz. Uh, Calais um, has, has, has had some changes, I think. Uh, we haven't been to Cardiff, Grimsby, Newcastle, Carlisle or Aberdeen, so that's not an issue. Um, so, um, Flensburg, don't think we've been to Flensburg either. But you can see, I mean, we look, the map still looks quite uh, full. Uh, we were at about 54% of, dis of discovered map. Uh, before the update, we're now at fifty-one point six eight, so almost two percent. Uh, so almost fifty-two percent. Right then. So we've been returned to our garage. Um, let's uh, see what we can see. Now I've not completely driven around Liverpool, which is a shocking, shocking oversight. Um, so we're going to have a, a little look around Liverpool. We're going to find. Uh, we're going to visit. The repair yard to get rid of the four percent damage that we have. Then we're going to rest, and uh, we are going to. Gee, can we can we could rest here if we wanted, but we're not going to. We might fuel up though, given that fuel is expensive in the United Kingdom, and we get a discount at our own garage. And this is a large garage, which means ugh, I cannot stop those flipping steam notifications. They are so monumentally annoying. Um, they're, it's all right when you're playing the game for yourself, but when you're trying to present the game for other people to watch, it's just... It's an annoyance. It hides the screen. Okay. Engine on. Let's um, let's go fix our lorry. So we've got nine hundred. We're just un ducked under a million. Uh, so let's look at the map. See what we haven't visited in Liverpool. All oh, right. Oh, it's nice. Uh, okay. Um, we'll do a nice little figure eight, and we'll get that little bit of Liverpool that we haven't got. Remembering. Oh, hello. Oh, idiot. Oh, well, we're gonna, we're going to repair our track anyway, so. 
Okay, on the left hand side. Right, let's see how this AI works. Because this is what we are. Uh, we're. Um, oh, crikey, I've forgotten what route I was going to take. <laughs> I left here. Where is the left? Oh, no. Can't do it. It's a bridge over us. That's why we can't see it. All right. That's fine. We'll go the other way. <laughs> Yeah, going on the other side of the road didn't protect us from the fine. That's fine. We're earning a lot of money. So, um, I I wasn't going to update because um, I thought I'd managed to switch off the auto update thing. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, we'll take a left here. I thought I'd managed to turn off the auto update thing, but apparently not. Uh, apparently, uh, I'm stuck with it. Um, it. Uh, whoa, I'm not in Europe now. Uh, sorry, I'm not in mainland Europe now. I'm in the UK. I need to be on the other side of the road. Um, yes, it's. Uh, I, I should have completely discovered my home city. There is one tiny little bit that I'm going to worry about later. Right, let's go repair. There is no, there's a recruitment agency, but there's no dealership in Liverpool, which I find a little irritating. Uh, as a Liverpudlian, uh, and I wouldn't mind seeing a Volvo dealership up here. So, eight hundred and twenty-five pounds for three percent damage on the engine. £330 for 2% damage on the transmission, £1,458 for 5% damage on the chassis, £2,891 for 4% on the cabin, and £492 for 4% on the wheels. Let's, let's repair that. And let's escape out of here. So, let's get some rest. I can't remember whether there's a, there was a lorry parked in here or not, but I don't think there was. Right, engine off, rest. Ooh, look at that fog. We don't like that fog. That sounded like a loan instalment. Uh, one o'clock in the morning. Okay, we're back in the dark. Right, so... Um, just out of interest, let's see how we're doing bank-wise. Nearly 60, so we've got 11 installments left. Alright. So, let's get ourselves some gainful employment. And I wonder if we can go to one of the new cities. But to be honest, uh, it would be nice if we could just go to a city that we haven't been to before. We've been to Munich. We've been to Ostrava. Oh, have we been to Ostrava? Don't know that we've been to Ostrava. Yeah, we have. The flag is smack in the middle of that big blob. Linkping we haven't been to. Kiel we have been to. Gothenburg we've been to. Oslo we've just come from. Uh, Rotterdam. Uh, Helsinki. Oh. Okay, why is that not... It's not showing the route. Okay, that's a bit worrying. That's a bit too... That's not very much money. 895 pounds. I think that's an error. <laughs> Five... Uh, yeah. No, that one it doesn't look like it's working. So that looks like a, an issue. Let's go to Linkoping. 
We haven't been to Linkaping. It's not a capital or anything, but um, it is still a journey. So I'm going to get my screenshot as per. Okay, screenshot grabbed. Let's rock and roll. So, engine on. Oh. Uh, are we a bit quiet? I did ask f when I created the, the uh, Pro Mod file, it gives you the option of. Um, Yeah, that actually that grabs that bit that I'd missed. That's cool. Um, it gives you the option of um, of, of, of have increasing the oh no wrong side of the road. Uh, increasing the in cab noise by two hundred percent, which uh, uh, and four hundred percent, which I uh, and I decided two hundred percent because I've stuck with the standard noise on the last. Pro Mods update, which was 1.5 and 1.52. Uh, okay, let's take the job. And I've always thought that the cab noise was a tiny bit quiet. Right. Um, so I yeah so I decided you create a def file um, you can uh, you can uh, alter the amount of damage you can have no damage whatsoever or you can have double the damage I've left it as standard I don't want to mess with the damage but I thought I would try increasing the volume of the uh, to swing quite wide on this one because I don't want to clip the uh, yeah we did it we did it so this is going to be interesting um, this is this is one uh, this is pro mods 1.9 and s uh, sorry SES 1.9 and pro mods 1.6 so really there's just been some improvements um, it, they claim that they're putting studs in the road um, it, apparently it's an ongoing process so I would imagine that it won't be on all parts of the road but um, the studs uh, sit in the uh, I believe the studs that they're talking about are the ones whoa, 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 too late are the ones that sit on the white lines and contain something called cat's eyes. All a cat's eye is, it is a uh, kind of a small round pr uh, prism with a reflector at the back of it um, and the reflector is uh, sees your headlights and reflects back at you and shows you where the uh, lane delineations are at night time. It's useful. Um, in the UK they also use a reflective paint um, to to mark the the lines as well. All the, the cat size, the studs are brighter by you know, quite a bit. Um, but the line marking, the lane markings definitely help, and it all helps stick to keep you on, on uh, in the right on the road, in the right place. Right, we're going to get out of the middle uh, into the middle lane because we don't want to turn left. She seems a bit sluggish, which is, um, I don't know whether it's the weight of the load or what. So, um, uh, I have been kind of worried about 1.9 and 1.6, and it's kind of occupied my thoughts since they announced uh, 1.8, which was supposed to have AI, and AI has been an issue. Um, the AI are suicidal and homicidal and they make some really chronically stupid decisions I'm not going to be able to take full advantage of the AI because I don't have 
uh, easy access to the uh, indicators at the moment, but the indicators actually help. Um, ooh, there's a. Let's just do that. <laughs> this is a bit of a road I might never go down. Let me go down it. It's. Uh, I'm going to shoot through. I've been on the other part of the road, and I just want to get this part of the road to help me with that 100% discovery. You might find this a bit annoying, but it's not really hurting my journey time. And it's a bit of road that I've never driven down before, and I get to drive, I'm gonna drive down it, so sod it. Um, um, so yes, it's been occupying my mind, and the, the uh, I can't take, as I said, until I get my G27, where I'll be able to use the paddle shifters as the indicate, the indicator stalks, I won't really be able to take full advantage because the AI take into account what uh, when you're indicating. They'll if they're they're behind you and they're about to overtake you and you indicate to move into the lane that they're going to occupy or that they're already in and they're going to zoom past you on, uh, then they'll slow down to let you out. Um, I just don't have enough fingers to to take advantage of that on a keyboard. They've, they apparently have made great uh, strides when it comes to uh, the AI at roundabouts and at junctions. I really do hope that they have sorted out the AI uh, at junctions uh, by um, exits, uh, slip roads, uh, what Americans would call off ramps, um, when you're going underneath a bridge. Um, buses tend to zoom down the off ramp and swing out. Uh, into your lane, uh, which can have disastrous uh, effect. They can clip you, and you lose money. And it's a particularly galling if they if they crash into your load. Um, but um, we will see when uh, we come to take one of those junctions whether they have they have made these great strides. So. Um, so th this is we will uh, as stuff happens we will talk about it. Um, but um, I, I am kind of irritated with Steam. I love Steam in that I don't have to have a disc. I don't have to faff around with discs. I've got all my games on my computer. I just click on it and go. Uh, I love that. What I don't like, um, I don't like that I have to be online to play this game. I still haven't figured out how uh, to play it offline, and I'm going to have to uh, initially. I think because um, um, because I'm not, I may not have access to the internet straight away uh, when my wife returns from New Zealand. I'm going to be kipping on someone's sofa for a few weeks while the wife. Uh, has to she has to stay a bit longer. I have to leave the country on March the sixteenth because that's when my visa expires. Um, but um, the wife uh, has to stay longer. Um, we got a she got a, a, a lump sum from uh, her new employers uh, to assist with moving to New Zealand, and she has to stay for a year or more in order to pay that back so that's what's happening she's staying into June so um, and so uh, yes we're going to be parted for th three to four weeks which is going to be difficult to cope with to be quite honest I'm going to have uh, three or four days to organize a few things um, I'm going to have to organize a uh, Organize uh, my mobile phone service. Oop, let's get in that lane. I'm going to have to uh, visit my mother to pick up my mail because uh, my mail has been going to my mother for uh, a year. And so I'm going to have some stuff to do initially. But I'll deal with that when I get there. And then my wife is going to be sending me uh, place uh, the addresses of flats to look at for when she returns because we're going to rent a flat when we get back to London 
So that's all exciting. That, however, will mean a dramatic drop in the number of videos that I can make. Um, and uh, as a result, I would imagine that the number of videos, the number of these will drop to one a week, I think. I will only be able to do these at the weekend. I'm not sure. Maybe. One thing I do want to do is I want to visit the lockup. Um, we have a lockup where all of our belongings that we couldn't bring to New Zealand are, and I need to check that they're all in good condition. We need to extend our rental of the lockup by uh, another couple of months, and uh, we need to organise. Um, and I want my G27. I want my G27. Um, I also want my big telly. <laughs> so we're going to have to rent a van to return, bring some of our belongings. So what we might do uh, is what we did initially is we'll borrow a car from someone to get some. Uh, well, we'll rent a van, sorry, with a man with a van, and get a bulk of our belongings out of the lockup, um, and and that will come with uh, some helping hands, and then we will probably rent a, a car or a, li a little van or something to pick up the other stuff at a later date, and then close out our. Lock, close our lockup up, but it's expensive. It's like it's, it cost us nearly a thousand pounds for the rental of the lockup for the year, so that's a lot of money. But that is for that is a month and a half away. In the meantime, in the meantime, have I got it? On? Yeah, I've got it on. They don't seem to be particularly. I wonder if. Yeah, I thought I thought it was looking a bit dim. It's a bit better. I can see a bit more. And it means you can see a bit more, I think, I hope. Yeah, driving at night seems to be uh, what I tend it seems to be my thing, which is a shame actually because it means you guys can't s Oh, hello. Speeding if oh, we are in the UK. <laughs> of course. Oh, good old speed cameras. So I need to get in the left hand lane now. So that I can peel off because we're about to go to the east of my current direction. Mm. So, um, what do I want to talk about today? Um, well, um, I'm I'm going to uh, pick a subject that I can drop in and out of um, as we discover more things about the AI in this game. So, I'm, uh, I know I've talked about them already, but I'm going to talk about my beloved Liverpool Football Club. Um, we are in uh, we're towards the end of March. Uh, we are 31 games into a 38 game season and Liverpool are second in the league. Now, this has happened to me before. Um, we ha uh, th uh, of those um, seven games remaining, th uh, two of them are against uh, people we're vying for the championship with. And one of them is a, a team that we're vying for a European position with. So. The table as of today, after uh, grinding out a win against Sunderland, a 2-1 win, not as glorious as previous victories. We beat Manchester United 3-0 recently. Uh, we beat Cardiff 6-3. Um, but today uh, we beat uh, Sunderland and we beat them 2-1. Uh, we two 0 up and conceded uh, got a goal, and then had a sort of a fifteen, a panicky fifteen minutes as we were playing to the whistle. So as of the res that result, Chelsea are top on sixty nine points. Uh, Liverpool are second on sixty eight. I think Was it sixteen. Oh, I can't remember now. That that is not good. And I'm going to probably crash now 
in an attempt to uh, bring up the football on my iPad. <laughs> uh, right, so... Um, So, uh, yes, Chelsea. The, uh, the positions are Chelsea top. No, I don't want to. I want to f oh gosh! Right, Chelsea are top on sixty-nine points. Liverpool are second on sixty-eight points. Manchester City a third on sixty-six. Arsenal are fourth on sixty-three. Everton are fifth on fifty-seven, and Tottenham are sixth on fifty-six points. Now. Uh, of those teams, Manchester City has only played 29 games, so they've got two games in hand on the th the, four, the other three teams in the top four, uh, which means if they win those two games, uh, they go from 66 to 72 points, which puts them three points clear of Chelsea. One of those teams that they... They, they, one of the teams they play in uh, the near future is Liverpool. So we can take three points away from them if we play to our potential. Now, that's going to be difficult to do. Manchester City are the team to play, and they've got games in hand because they got a they had uh, the, a game shifted because of an FA Cup and uh, an FA Cup replay, so... Because the game was cancelled, they, they, the game was shifted because they were going to be playing an FA Cup game, and then that game was cancelled because of you know, extremely bad weather. So they they missed out on two games. We played our catch-up game, so we're on sixty-eight points with seven games to go. Everton are a game behind, uh, but they can only go to sixty points, so they're not they're not really unless. The, the top four teams have an absolutely disastrous run. I don't think that Everton are in any danger of, of breaking into the top four. Tottenham equally. Uh, they are what four points, eight points behind uh, uh, Arsenal in fourth. Now, um, the stated aim of Brendan Rodgers was to get into the top four. I think we're pretty safe. I would hope that we stay in the top three. The top three gets us a position, a position in uh, Europe without in the Champions League without having to play a pre-qualifying game, um, which we really want. We don't want to be playing a pre-qualifying game because it's an extra two games and the, you might not make it into the league. It's uh, it's estimated to be twenty to twenty five million pounds to play those uh, six games. Ew. And we got whoa shit! How on earth have we not done any damage? Glancing blow, I guess. That's because I'm not concentrating on. Uh, That's not because I'm not concentrating on the game, I'm concentrating on the, uh... Right. Uh, so, yes, um, that was... We are getting result after result after result. Now, we've had some unfortunate results. We, uh, we lost to Hull, which I still... It still boggles my mind that we lost... I cannot believe we lost to Hull. That's three points we should have had. E three points we should easily have, have, have raked in that would have taken us to uh, si uh, that would have taken us uh, well, where are we 68 that would have taken us to 72 points so that would have had us in the lead uh, that would have put us on a par with uh, with Manchester City in their catch up games we also um, we also had a, a bad result um, I think we lost to Chelsea at Stamford Bridge. I think two one. Mm, that one I can live with. Chelsea, have, uh, are, you know, they, their players have been bought and paid for, and they've got some quality in there. Even though their quality, as I said, has been bought and paid for rather than earned. Um, 
can't remember whether we had a dodgy result against Stoke. But we have we have we've we've had a couple of losses that I'm I was unhappy with. We lost to Manchester City in a game uh, where I thought we could have to come away with a draw. So we lost a point there. Because we played very well and got really unlucky. Brendan Rodgers has, has settled on a side. Uh, we got uh, Suarez back and because uh, he was missing for the first six games of the season because of his moronic, childish, naive, stupid, idiotic, animalistic bite on, uh, on Ivanovic the season before. It still boggles my mind that he did that. Um, his, uh, his I, I don't know how his uh, summer-long desire to leave Liverpool has, uh, had affected him. Uh, I don't know whether he is using uh, this season as a as a shop window to get out of Liverpool. He has signed a three-year extension to his contract, but we know that these contracts are meaningless. The guy wants to leave to go to say by uh, Barcelona. Now the one thing we've got in our favour is he's getting Champions League football next year. In all likelihood, we are second. Um, if we beat Chelsea um, and we win our remaining games, um, then uh, we will finish ahead of Chelsea. If we beat Manchester City. Uh, and someone does us a favour and beats them, we will finish ahead of Manchester City. If that, if those two scenarios uh, fulfil themselves, and um, given Liverpool's history, it's unlikely. But if if they do, um, then that's that's uh, the Premier League title. Um, he might feel he has nothing to prove. Yeah, um, if he's won the Premier League title, uh, he can then f quite happily go to Barcelona um, to get to fulfil his dream of winning the Europe, the Champions League. He might not. When we, Liverpool have proved themselves capable of winning the Champions League, they are what uh, an ITV uh, commentator and ITV is the independent television company. I think I might have discussed this in a previous video. They're a British national broadcaster. Um, the UK is equivalent of one of the network television broadcasters in the United States. The equivalent, I think, of um, TV3, MediaWorks in New Zealand, uh, maybe Network 10 or 7 or whatever. I, I can't, I, I, I'm not familiar with, it, with Australian network broadcasting to be able to make that judgment but they're a network broadcast and one of their commentators while uh, broadcasting while advertising a Liverpool European game referred to Liverpool as European royalty Liverpool have won five European Cups or cha the cha the, they've won what is now called the Champions League five times at the time of winning it UEFA had a ruling if you won three titles in a row or you won a total of five titles ah why do those always get me oh fuck and now I've got two percent damage on my effing Arr! that pisses me off uh, sorry yes if you win three in a row or five in total you get to keep the cup and they mint a new cup which gets passed, and uh, you also get the 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 replicas, the miniature replicas. They hand out a miniature replica. Now they've they've cancelled that rule. Liverpool are the last club that will get to keep the trophy. Uh, I'm pissed off about that two percent. That really, thing. we've hardly started, and I've already damaged the bloody truck. I've already, sorry, I've already damaged the bloody load. Right, so this. Yeah, see, they're not waiting. In previous, in pre, uh, before 1.9, there'd be a queue of vehicles waiting for that. But they're feeding in. And it hasn't really affected me. I used to zip around the outside because they were just sat there. But they've, they've sort of merged. That's nice. I like that.
it doesn't I've, I put the def file for 200% cabin noise and it doesn't seem to have made much difference to my ears I don't know whether it, it has to yours I might listen to to, to, want to this video and, and the video before to see if I can detect any difference in the volume but it doesn't feel like there's been a change in volume to me so yes, we've already right. We've seen the first example of the improvement to the AI, the, the, the zipping together at that narrowing of the road. I like it. It's not hurt me at all. I'm able. Right here is a roundabout. Right, are they going to be suicidal like they used to be? I don't know. I don't know if I can really tell because they weren't close enough. So maybe we'll have to wait for another one or two uh, roundabouts to be able to tell. So we're approaching uh, the. Um, yeah, we still had five hours. Uh, we've got sixty-one hours to make this delivery. Thirty hours. So we've got to spare twenty hours. I'm going to need to sleep twice, and I'm in the wrong lane. And hopefully he will, yep, hopefully uh, he did. He sped out in front of me, which means that I don't have to wait for him. I don't know whether that's an improvement, that might be an improvement, because I think in previous iterations he would have just stopped, maybe. All right. Let's get on the ferry. Right, where are we going? Here report? No, I don't think so. Oh, hang on, I've forgotten where we're going. <laughs> I've forgotten where the hell we're going. Uh, let's escape that. Let's. Oh. Link ping, yes. Uh. back up and go on to it again to activate it. So we're going to, yes, we're going to go to SBR because linker ping is up here. So that's going to cost us 1400, uh, 1490 pounds and it's going to take 17 hours. So we should be fully refreshed. We should also have maybe 100, 200 K in our extra in our bank balance, which is always good. You can never complain about that. <laughs> that's a bit wobbly. Yeah, 200k. That's good. In fact, more than that. So, let's rock. We're on the left-hand side, because we're in mainland Europe now. I was a bit worried about that, actually. Will I catch the load on the, on the gate? One uh, one uh, extra mod I'm thinking of of adding uh, is the uh, realistic physics mod, but I wasn't going to add it until 1.9 was done because the realistic physics mod gets really twitchy when um, SCS make changes. I'm going to go after that one because I'm on the left hand side, and that's the only side I really have to worry about. Right, let's rock. Okay, so SBR, which we fully discovered, we don't need to, oh no, there are little bits of SBR we haven't seen, but pfft. I love those, um, they're ugly buildings, but I love the sort of gradiated purple to pink, it shows a little bit of imagination. <laughs> and we have seen them, we do come to SBR quite a bit, so we have seen them quite a lot. Uh, another roundabout, but no traffic to speak of, so we're not really going to see any improvements in the AI because there's no AI to tangle with. 
Um, they've also made some improvements to some invisible walls. Now, uh, a couple of videos ago, you'll remember we 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 were thrown about in Copenhagen near the airport. Um, is it an airport or maybe a dock? I can't remember now. But we were thrown about a little bit. Uh, that has been fixed apparently. Uh, so we might go back to Copenhagen at some point and uh, revisit those roads because uh, given that it's been fiddled with, we now won't have uh, discovered it. Oh, well, we'll discover it, but sorry, we won't have, have included. We won't have discovered the roads. It's possibly one of the reasons. Uh, it's one of the reasons why our. Um, our percentage of discoverable road went down quite so much. They only added two, uh, three cities, two in France and one in Scandinavia. Uh, so, um, so yes, they've the fact that they fixed a bunch of invisible roads uh, might have contributed to the. Um, we are actually going to have only have to sleep once. I forgot about the huge chunk. The 17 hours took a huge chunk out, and it's it's transport time. So uh, we have still got 43 hours. So we that's interesting. We had uh, 49 hours to deliver it. Um, our travel time on the ferry was 17 hours. We now got 43 hours. So that's curious. So we've got more than enough time uh, to have another rest. Now what I might do is once we've ducked under 10 hours uh, I, might, I might then find a rest stop, get some rest uh, and uh, we'll be good for the rest of the journey. The earlier you do it the better. Obviously I, I think I'll do it about the sort of the 8 hour, the 9 hour mark, something like that. And we're going to take a right turn here at Colding. Um, we're going to travel, we're going to clip the outskirts of Colding. That's uh, so, okay. Right, so let's uh, learn our lesson from our 2% damage at the beginning of this journey and not race down this like we were, let's say, Roman Grosjean or Pastor Maldonado or Kamui Kubiashi, someone who likes to butt heads and crash into things. And if you're not into Formula 1, those three names will probably mean absolutely nothing to you. <laughs> so, um, uh, we will keep an eye on the AI and uh, see if we can see anything. Where are we? See, the trouble is our 17 hours has dumped us back at night time. It's one in the morning, which is really bloody irritating. I do apologise. I probably should have only had two rest breaks at Liverpool so that we kept uh, driving in the day. Oh, we've got to take a right turn here. So I'm enjoying, I'm enjoying this so far. Ta I've tangled less with the AI at this point. Apart from the lorry uh, at that junction where I made the mistake of overtaking him and then crashing into him, so that's not his, that's not the AI's fault, that's my fault. Um, so we haven't really had to deal with the AI too much at the moment. We've seen the improvement in the, uh, in the narrowing of the roads, that and we knew was going to happen. Right, so we're now on the bridge which goes from uh, Denmark to Sweden. Uh, which is good. I am actually going to have to find a rest spot in a little bit because I'm going to have to uh, take the footage off uh, my camera, off my phone because the, uh, uh, it's running out of space. Well, it's not running out of space. Space. It, what it is is um, the camera only lets you record 50 minutes at a time and then it automatically shuts you down no matter whether you've got the space left or not. Uh, I managed to record almost a full journey on this phone um, before it ran out of space because I had forgotten to delete the previous video.
Hey, I'm sorry, uh, Liverpool, we're talking about Liverpool. So, they have a reasonably settled side. We didn't get to bring anyone in in the summer. We brought no players in. Um, uh, which was a shame. Um, we got Lucas Lever back, and we, after a six game, uh, they, they, after the six games of his ten game ban, uh, sorry, eight game ban, we got Suarez back. So it was kind of like getting two new players, and we did struggle actually at the beginning of the season. Uh, we we had well, we had a good run. We had uh, we won I think our first four or five games in a row and then we lost to ah, Southampton that was the other result which pissed me off uh, we lost at home to Southampton and then beat them 5-0 at their ground hmm. oh we did we did get one player we got Simon Min when did we get Simon Mignolet I think that was one player Yes, we did get Simon Minile in, um, which necessitated, uh, um, apparently, according to Brendan Rodgers, it necessitated uh, um, uh, uh, our, go our, our goalkeeper of, uh, from five previous seasons, whose name, oh God, his name's gone from my brain. Why is his name gone from my brain? Oh. oh. He's an excellent keeper. He's at Na uh, Naples now. Is it Napoli now? With is it, is it Napoli? With Rafa. Oh, that's gonna drive me absolutely insane. Um, I right, during the break I will figure out what his name is. <sighs> um, but yes, um, we have been on an absolute roll. I think, don't think we've been beaten in 2014. Um, <clears throat> I think we've had a draw. I don't think we've been beaten in 2014. I'm not 100% Yeah, because I think our loss to Manchester City was over the Christmas Boxing Day period, which is always a bit of a nightmare, it's uh, congested. Most most leagues have a break uh, over that period, not not uh, the English leagues. Uh, I don't think... I'm not one for the break. What I am for is not having three games in, in seven days, which is what happens. I think they should stick to the pattern, because I think what happens is teams become sluggish, because they're not playing. So what happens is you have this break and then everyone gets a bit lazy, they eat a lot over the Christmas period and, and you know. I understand that uh, players sometimes would like go, to go home to their family, especially the foreign based player, the, for, the, the, the players f f uh, from abroad. Ooh. Let's bring our pace down. So Again, we've got no traffic around us so I've got no idea, uh, normally you're feeding into a bunch of traffic uh, at a at a toll booth. 155 pounds. That's four pounds dearer than it normally is. What the heck's going on? Inflation. Right. Can we have a rest here? I don't need to rest actually, what the heck am I doing? Where are we? We've got nine hours. Yeah. Ooh. Right. Oh, come on. Right. Let's turn the engine off. And let's get some rest. And then I will uh, upload the footage and we'll continue with the journey. Okay, we're back. Footage is off. Let's get rid of the high beams. And we're back on the road. 
Uh, so uh, during the um, during the enforced break, in order to get the footage off, I discovered the name of the Liverpool keeper uh, that was driving me bonkers. Whose name I should remember because he was a fantastic servant for the club, and his name was Pepe Reina. Jose Manuel Reina, commonly known by everyone as Pepe. And I also uh, looked up the two cities that were removed when I had to unclick M95's Italy add-on. Uh, they were Parma and Modena. Uh, so those two, those two cities are gone. But um, Promods have been telling us that they're going to add Genoa in 6.1. And so I I trust them and I believe them. Um, so we'll look forward to Genoa and Rome is going to be another city, capital of Italy. I can't believe that SES didn't include more, uh, didn't go south to include Rome in the standard game. But there you go. So that's what's going. That's what's been added. So. Um, Liverpool should be a more interesting prospect for potential new players come June when the transfer window opens again and Liverpool are once again allowed to buy players. Now, periodically Liverpool are linked with this player and that player and nothing usually comes with it, comes of it. In fact, I remember when we were being linked with Suarez, I didn't believe it. I, was, I kind of had mixed feelings about Suarez as in... Uh, acquisition from Ajax, given that in the World Cup in 2000 and I want to say 2010, he was, he was responsible for the handball against Ghana, which effectively knocked them out, because that ball was going in, and if he hadn't put his hand out when he put it out, there wouldn't have been a need for extra time and penalties which have ultimately put Uruguay through. So I, I kind of had mixed feelings about him as a result of that. It was blatant, it was deliberate, whether it was instinctive or not is another, is another matter. What really gave me qualms about him joining Liverpool was not the, ha the handball, but the fact that he wasn't forced to go down the tunnel and the penalty that resulted from the handball was saved and as a result, he reacted in a manner which I found totally disgusting and, and incredibly shocking. He shouldn't have been allowed to be there. He shouldn't have been allowed to be on the touchline. He should have been forced down the tunnel, as he should be. When a player is, is sent off, as Suarez was, he should have been forced down the tunnel. He sh he's supposed to, a play, sorry, a player, when he's forced off, a player is supposed to go down the tunnel. Suarez should have been in the tunnel. He shouldn't have been on the touchline, cheering away like he'd scored a goal. He has caused us at Liverpool a few problems. His altercation with Patrice Evera, where he used a word which... just I can't believe he thought was okay to use. I can't believe he dragged Liverpool into the mess that he dragged them into. He said he didn't use the word. They, they they had the pantomime of players wearing shirts and with his face on. It's it was it was shocking. He should have been sat down by Kenny Dalglish, who was the Liverpool manager at the time, and he should have. Okay, we're losing power here. That's hmm. Okay. I want to know whether we are. I think actually this might be the bridge to Sweden rather than the previous one. I think that might have been the bridge. Yes, the other one. The other bridge we went over wasn't the bridge to Sweden, it was the bridge between mainland Europe and the part of Denmark that has Copenhagen on it. think this is the bridge for Sweden. So let's just double check that. Okay. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. We are we are now in Sweden. Wow, 180 pounds. That was a lot of money. Was it 180 pounds? I think it was 180 pounds. So we're fully rested. We've got just over seven hours uh, of journey time left with us with this with this particularly. Oh, you're kidding me. Okay, the AI isn't completely fixed because he's just added a percentage of damage to my fucking trailer. This, oh, that pisses me off. That was so well. The AI are gonna do stupid things, and they just did, and so did I. I peeled off the road for no apparent reason. And I don't want to go down that road because I'm not going back on. Ugh. Ugh. Fuck's sake. <laughs> okay. The AI is just. An AI car just vanished. It was there and then it wasn't there. It just vanished in the mirror. Uh, a number of people have talked about vehicles vanishing in front of you and, be, and beside you and. and Wow, that blue car just just suddenly appeared to the right of us. So yeah, there are still issues with this game. There are still issues, and I don't know whether it's whether it's the the issues are with this map or whether. Yep, no. Look, do you see the car just vanished at the junction. I do hope they don't appear underneath me. That would piss me off. Because that wouldn't it wouldn't be the first time the vehicles have appeared. Um, hmm, that is effing annoying. That's really annoying. Oh, more income, thirteen grand from Brandon. Good old Brandon. Uh, so yeah, so there are issues still with this game, the vanishing AI, and I don't, I don't know whether it's that's in, as I said, with is that an issue? We won't, I won't really be confident that it's a Pro Mods fault, as Pro Mods issue, or it's a game, an SES issue until we've driven on the mainland, and I've seen it happen on the mainland. We will see. So we don't need to rest again. We don't need petrol because we're good for petrol. And I'm going to steer to the left of these guys just in case. We don't need to visit that uh, rest spot because we've been there. As you can see, it's tan beige to indicate we've been there. Ah. Uh, So yes, so um, well, I think I caused him to put his brakes on there. Oh, oh well, that's bad driving on my part. You'll notice that um, I have got rid of the blue LEDs. All of the instrument panels are white now. Um, we'll go with it for a while, see whether it makes any difference or not. I'm not missing the, the blue LEDs at the moment. I may do in the future. We'll see. I've noticed that the rev count is a tiny bit more difficult to see now. Um, uh, all right, I'm going to need to slow down because we're coming off. And I don't want to rub that barrier. Three percent is as much damage as I'm um, willing to accept. So Linkoping, which we're visiting, was a city that was added with uh, 1.5 uh, on Christmas Day, and I haven't been to it yet, so we're going to it now, and we shouldn't be too far away, we're about five and a half hours away, so it's not too too far. Um, 
so that's going. That's our goal now is to get to to link a ping. We're doing well monetarily. Uh, we were under a million when we started the journey. No, sorry, we were one point two when we started the journey. After our three rest bikes, we were up to one point two. So we've managed to get five hundred k. Oh, I've noticed that a couple of drivers are returning empty-handed. That's the. It's not the first. I'm going to have to go uh, through people's you know, job history. I might have to let someone go um, if they're not producing the goods. We'll see. Although a thousand pounds isn't a great deal, given that some of our drivers are bringing fifteen and twenty thousand pounds in. But if they're doing it over 15 or 20 journeys, if they're doing it consistently, then they have to go. Whoa. Okay, we have a queue again. So that wasn't good. Still a little bit of a queue. <laughs> so the issue's not completely resolved. Um, yeah, we'll see we'll see whether it becomes a major issue whether we see it at every junction but we did we did go through one junction uh, not junction sorry one one of those uh, where it didn't happen ah uh, I clipped that lorry I clipped that lorry when we're on the straight, we'll see whether we're up to 4% or not. But I don't know why I'm suddenly in a rush, but I feel like I'm in a rush. I'm not 100% certain why I am. Oh, I think I bashed that lorry as well. I'm still on 3%, so... nice clear road ahead of us so um, Liverpool's fate as regards the Premier League title is not in their own hands we are waiting for Manchester City to play their, their two catch up games um, we were waiting for we need Chelsea to lose a game and we can, essentially we need Chelsea to lose a game uh, and Man City to, to lose two games now we can help that process by beating Chelsea and Manchester City Chelsea aren't unbeatable. They lost to Aston Villa a couple of weekends ago, and Aston Villa are uh, mid-table. They're not. Uh, they're not gracing the upper echelons of the Premier League as Liverpool are at the moment. Um, oh, Aston Villa is another team that we didn't do very well against. I think a team that we either lost to or drew with that we shouldn't have. So we'll see. Our performance against Chelsea. Two crucial, three crucial games, sorry, Chelsea, the Chelsea game at home, the Tottenham game at home, and the Manchester City game at home. We need to win those three games. We've got two away games, but one of them is against Norwich, who we should beat. Um, I forget who the other one is against. Um, but we've got two games against teams that we should beat. Uh, we, sorry, they, Liverpool, my team, Liverpool. So uh, that's four of the games. There are three other games that I can't think of off the top of my head. Um, but uh, the win against Sunderland was crucial. They're not. Uh, the what it did reveal is that uh, we don't play quite as well against a three-man central defence as we do against a two-man central defence with two wing-backs. Um, now, if you're an American and you don't follow football then, then some of this jargon isn't going to mean anything to you. And to be honest, there really isn't a sport with comparable positioning. But the central defenders are the players that play directly in front of the goal and they're the ones that protect the goal. Wing backs uh, are left and right backs 
our players that play wide and their job is to prevent a team from playing crossfield balls from having a guy run up to near the corner and then kick a ball across uh, Liverpool tend to play a mixture we, pl we play a little bit of, of, uh, of crossfield uh, target man but we also play a lot of um, passing football, passing the, the ball into the box. And if you've got a three-man defence, you've got more bodies in the middle of the, the defence to counter that. Um, we played a diamond midfield, which means that you've got one defensive midfielder, one attacking midfielder, and then you've got two uh, midfielders that sort of play one half of the pitch each. So our formation for the midfield was... Gerard, uh, Stephen Gerrard uh, as defensive midfielder, uh, put Felipe, Felipe Coutinho uh, as, as the sort of attacking midfielder that uh, runs the ball into the box, and then the two um, sides of, mid, of, uh, of central midfielder were um, Jordan Henderson to the left and Lucas Le Levia to the right, I think, or maybe the other way around. Ooh, we've got a peel off here to link hoping you saw it on the sign below Stockholm I can actually read the signs that was good so we are on our way two and a half hours left I'm actually quite hungry I've done the same thing again and I've left my lunch till the last minute I'm recording this at half past three in the afternoon and I haven't eaten, I've had a breakfast, I've had a bowl of cornflakes, but I haven't had uh, my lunch yet. There's only a couple of sarnies, but uh, still, it does stave off. I haven't seen any disappearing vehicles yet. Uh, since the blue vehicle that disappeared uh, in front of us a while ago. But just because I haven't seen them doesn't mean it's not happening. So now I'm driving, not like a madman, but like a responsible truck driver, which is always good. But I'm not got any traffic around me. I tend to drive like an idiot when I've got vehicles surrounding me. We're still getting the odd stutter. I was thinking about upping the graphical fidelity, but I don't think I'm going to bother. I just, I really just think that it will be a nightmare, and I don't want to pause the video. I don't want to tease you guys with potential better images and then have to undo it straight away because the PC can't handle it. And I also don't believe that, while I, I, I think while I might see the difference on screen in front of me, I don't think you'll see the difference because of the translation from um, iPhone uh, recording the screen. I don't think you'll pick up the subtle differences that I will. And I'd rather have a smoother gameplay than um, in a higher graphics at this point obviously we're building a rig to play this game uh, we're building a rig uh, to uh, play a lot of games and to stream from them oh, I could have gone down there I haven't visited that, uh, that but the, the angle was too steep I would have rolled I would have robbed the truck trying to get into the <laughs> into the rest stop and I'm not sure it's worth it for uh, and that car didn't disappear. That's good. When, when will it disappear? Because at some point it will disappear. Oh no, we've got a speed limit to observe. Although I think I'm doing that speed limit. I think 90 is what 65. Ugh. Jeff, Jeff is letting me down. I am going to have to go through the garage and find out who's letting me down. They do drive like they're on rails, still, which is not how real drivers drive. Real drivers drive too fast and they cut corners, like I do, like I'm doing. Oh, we got some money. Oh, we're only, what, six and a half grand away from uh, 1.8 million. 
So we're a confidence bit actually from 2 million. And given that we're pro we're not going to buy Linkaping, I, I could, I might drive up to Stockholm and get the garage in Stockholm. Yeah, I might do that. We'll see. That would be interesting to do. Because Stockholm is the capital of Sweden. We've got all, we've got Oslo, which is the capital of Norway. Um, so start having Stockholm. Uh, we've also got Copenhagen, which is the capital of Denmark. So Stockholm, uh, we've got half the capitals of Scandinavia. Um, Stockholm would would give us three quarters of the capital, and we wouldn't be too far away from Helsinki. It might be that we could grab Helsinki if it's on offer. That's one of the shorter journeys. I wouldn't mind. We haven't discovered Helsinki yet. We have Stockholm. We haven't discovered Helsinki yet, so it would be nice to get Helsinki. Okay, I think we might be alright to stay in this lane. Ooh, that vehicle just disappeared from... Okay. Disappearing vehicles. Uh, seems to be happening a lot. Uh, there's a, a sort of a gunmetally one in front of us, I think, which hasn't disappeared just yet. We are about, we are very close to our destination now, so... More opportunities uh, to uh, interact with the AI and, and um, see whether it's going to stuff us up or not. It's been nice actually driving in daylight. We've been able to drive in daylight for the last since we uh, we had that pit stop with them. Um, what nine hours to go? So that's been very good. So let's have a look at Linkoping before we get into the town. Let's have a look at the city itself and see what we can. Ooh, a Saab dealership. Interesting. Um. I think what I might do is I might go round Link Pink and then back. Yes, let us do that. Can't go to the sub dealership. That takes us takes us somewhere else. So yes, around around boo yes, and then uh, and then here we we'll, won't we'll, we won't get this bit. But we'll get a little bit of Link Hoping. Alrighty. I do get a bit reckless with junctions like that because there could be oncoming traffic uh, that I don't. Uh, and Link Hoping is discovered. Uh, uh, handbrake on, or parking brake on. If I would go blast through this, but there's traffic peeling into this lane, so it would be a head-on, it would be more damage, so let's not go down that road, eh? So, ooh, there's a railway line beneath us. Right. Nasty trucks, which we don't like. Uh, nasty buses, sorry, which we don't like. <laughs> a little. <laughs> uh, I think Little is a Scandinavian supermarket chain that's um, invaded the United Kingdom. It is very, very cheap. Uh, in all senses of the word. Oh, there's been an accident there. And they're moving off. That's it's good to see that they're actually clearing themselves out. Yeah, we're going to turn right here, as per the directions, because that just leads us in another direction. Let's swing out a little bit. 
Oof, we clattered that road sign, which is what I didn't want to do, but... Right. And that's where we're going to get our truck repaired. Obviously, there are no discoverables in Linko Ping. But, uh, uh, we are going to miss out a bit of road, that's annoying. No, no, I don't care. I want to deliver this load. Alrighty. And that's uh No, we're not. We need to mitigate our crash damage. is going to be a twofer. Uh, let's see. Yay. There we go. That'll do. So, parking brake on, engine off, and let's see whether we kept it to uh, good work or not. Yes, we kept it. At least we kept it to good work. So, uh, beverages from Liverpool to Linkaping, uh, driven distance 1,234 kilometres, time taken 41 hours and 21 minutes, fuel consumed 456.2 litres. We've got a base reward of £26,410 and 1,234 XP, a proficiency bonus for level 29 of £11,488, a long distance delivery bonus for skill rank 5 of £3,648 and 308 XP, a fragile cargo bonus for skill rank 5 of £6,080 and 271 XP, an urgent delivery bonus for skill rank 4 of £2,918 and 246 XP, and a bonus for parking the trailer of 45 XP. We did 4%, obviously it goes up a percent when you park it. it uh, that's beyond bloody irritating, but the, you know, that, that's the way the game plays it. So our damage penalty, we did 4% of damage to the truck, which cost us £509. That's not a great deal, to be quite honest. And the reason we did that parking, you can see 42 XP lost to that damage, mitigated by the 45 XP for parking the trailer, which we don't have to do. So that earned us a total of £50,035, and it earned us 2,062 XP. Look at that progress bar. We're still a level 29 instructor. But we uh, just have to drive out of the depot and we'll probably have got enough XP for level 30. So, this profile has a lifetime XP of 99,580 and our target is 99,700 still for level 30. Uh, once we hit level 30 we will have got our last vehicle upgrade um, and we will only be 6 away from our last um, skill point. And then it'll be all about the driving and the levels will be irrelevant. Then it'll be about discovering the cities, discovering the roads, aiming at that 100% of map discovered, and trying to get to level 150 for whatever that, whatever that offers. So, that's been, uh, that's been our first journey, our first experience of the new AI with the upgrade 1.9 for SES. It's been our first experience on the Pro Mods map once they upgraded to 1.6. Um, thank you very much for watching, and um, until I see you in the next video, I'll see you on the road. <laughs>